From now on you will cook fish and even if it's your first time it will be perfect, always. And along with some carrots and frozen peas you will be able to create a dish you never thought you could. How? Let me show you. By cooking sous vide you stay in complete control and get your product perfect, every single time. So consider buying a sous vide stick. You can cook with it basically fat free and they are super affordable. So let's grab our cut and get started. First you want to score the skin so it sears up crispier and takes in all the seasoning. The seasoning for today's cut is pretty straightforward. I season it with freshly ground Himalayan salt and black pepper. To add some freshness to it I use some lime zest. And remember to always season both sides. Lastly, add a bit of dill for a grassy flavor. Now we are ready to pack it up. Go ahead and carefully place your cod into a vacuum bag. Now let the magic happen. Having a vacuum sealer and sous vide stick comes in very handy in countless situations. I am using them every day and considering you can get both for around $100 makes it a great investment. I will of course link you all my tools in the description down below. Drop your fish onto the water bath. It will need just 30 minutes at a temperature of 56 degrees Celsius. That gives us just enough time to make our sides. The easiest and best way to cook carrots is also my favorite, cause it's literally no work. All what you gotta do here is brush the baby carrots with a little amount of olive oil, sprinkle them with some sea salt and just put them right into the oven for 10 minutes and 200 degrees Celsius. All right, first side dish done. With our fish in the water and our carrots roasting, we are just in time to make the most amazing and easy pea puree. Just drop your frozen peas into the bowl and cover it with the boiling water. Let them relax in there for about three minutes and just drop them into your blender. I give it a quick seasoning with some salt freshly ground pepper and to keep it fresh I am adding the remaining lime zest. All what's left to do is add a little bit of water and blend it until it has the consistency and look of this one. 30 minutes up, time to get fishing. The last step of our preparation is completely optional. The fish would be juicy and soft and ready to serve but I would like to show you some methods to bring your fish game to the next level. After removing the herbs, we have to show our fillets some love and pat them dry. We want to put a nice sear on them, so brush them just lightly with a touch of olive oil. Remember, the fish is already perfectly done. We just want a nice sear now, so we need high heat and just a few seconds on the skin side. So if you want to use a grill, do that. If you don't have one, go ahead and get your pan nice and hot. With a bit of butter, you will get the same awesome crust. This is so great about this method, you can even sous vide your fish ahead of time, chill it a few days in the fridge or even freeze it for some months. The moment you are hungry, just reheat it for some minutes in the water bath and you go on searing. The hard work is done. With the pee pee rare, warm and smooth, the fish crispy and the carrots crunchy, you now have everything to create a healthy, stunning dish. Just be creative and play it with love. Oh, and if you love your skin extra crispy like I do, try out this one. After the fireworks, I completely understand if you want to subscribe. It's okay and if you do so, just hit the bell to not miss out on future highlights. That's it from me today, I really hope you enjoyed that episode and I inspired you a little bit to experiment in your kitchen and I catch you guys in the next one.